The room can now be controlled through the browser by clicking the control icon. A new window will open where you can choose to start the room and power on all the devices or just control the video switching. Now we can click on Dish or Blu-ray to make sure the remote is sliding out as it should and to verify that sources are switching by checking what the display is showing. So far, everything looks good. Before we take a look at our control settings, there's a couple things I want you to take note of. The color of these icons and this radial gradient background. Now let's head back over to Velocity and click on Control Settings in the top ribbon. We're going to quickly set a macro to get this room going, but all these automation settings are covered later in this course. Using an event macro, when the room is turned on, I want the screen relay to send a pulse to port 1. I'm setting this at 300 milliseconds. Your settings may differ based on your screen controller. Now let's make a second event to raise the screen when the room is turned off. I want the screen relay to send a pulse to port 2. Under Theme, you can change the accent color, which is the color of the icons on the control screen. You can also change the background by selecting a flat color background, edit the gradient colors, or upload a custom image or logo. Under Additional Options, you'll see Master Audio Device. There's multiple points in a system where you can control audio. This setting allows you to specify the device that's controlling the room's audio, and at what interval you wish to set the volume ramp. Once this is set, an audio section is added to the bottom of your control device. Click Save, and edits are automatically pushed to the control devices. Back in the room settings, there's also a toggle that allows you to disable the home page of the control device. The home page that we saw has the Start Room and Control Video buttons. With this toggle turned off, you'll always see the Sources and Display page. With it turned on, you can specify the buttons shown. By unchecking video, the home page will only show the Start button. If you have a switcher with presets like an Atlona CLSO or Pro 3 series, you can easily recall those presets by using a button on the home page of the touch panel. You can only select one Start page. When you click Start Room button, the page selected here is the page that will load. The room on and off delay timers allow you to set a delay before another power command can be sent. This is important if you have a projector that requires a booting up or cooling down period. Room groups are created at a site level, and by clicking the plus icon here, you'll be taken to edit the site where you can create room groups. And when you click Save, you'll come back to where you were. Room groups allow you to control more than one room from a single touch panel by navigating to a different room on that touch panel. You can also specify if a device will always be on by excluding it from the receiving on off commands when the room is powered on or off. For instance, the switcher would always be on, but the projector would only need to turn on when the rest of the room is turned on. In the Feature section, you can show and hide buttons from the control panel. And if you want to swap whether the sources and the display is shown on either the top or the bottom of the control panel, select Center Source Icons. The Room Controls section is used when integrating a DSP and will be covered in another module in this course. The last thing we need to do in order to finish this room is add a touch panel.